My name is Peter Weilerman. I'm the, uh, the new Director of Assessment and Accountability here in Falls Church. And this year, the state, through legislation, uh, has added the new growth assessment. I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about that and a couple other of the assessments that we are doing this fall. The growth assessment is basically um, a mini SOL. Um, it's a short uh, benchmark assessment. It's looking at where students are right now, um, and especially this year after year after the pandemic. Um, we're trying to give teachers as much data as possible. This is not a high stakes test. Uh, we don't want people studying for this. This is really just to give information to teachers um, to help them plan instruction. Um, and again, this is state mandated. And the other two assessments that will give teachers a lot of really good data this year um, are the STAR assessments. And we actually have three this year. We have an early literacy uh, STAR assessment. Um, which will look at our younger students' um, math and numeracy skills. Uh, and then we have STAR Reading and STAR Math. And needless to say, one looks at math scores and one looks at reading scores. The important thing to remember about all of these is it gives um, teachers data about where your student is and where they need to go. It helps plan that roadmap for instruction. The growth assessment is third through eighth grade. Uh, while the STAR is, we actually give those um, everywhere from kindergarten up to tw some 12th graders take it. So it's a, a, a broad spectrum. We will be over the next few weeks working on updating our website um, to um, talk a lot more about uh, assessments in general. Um, we hope, hope to have a little chart that shows you what, what students are taking what assessment at what grade level. And then you'll be able to click on a link and it will take you to an explanation of each um, assessment. We're going to be sharing a lot of results at your teacher parent conference in early November. Um, so your teacher will have a lot of data to share with you at that point. Uh, for now we're going to be focusing though on using that data in classroom instruction.